Be careful, inshallah. Be careful. Here is okay. Here is okay, inshallah. All right. See, it's not easy to climb, right? So, we were talking about shuhada, and we said the 70 martyrs of, of shuhada, Uhud, are all buried here. Alayhim rahmatullah. May Allah's uh, mercy be on them, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us with them in Jannah, insha'Allah, with our Prophet. The Ghazwat Uhud took, pl took place in this area right here, where <clears throat> Rasul chose this place. He was not just a an imam who leads the prayer or somebody who's just teaching people he was also a military leader he chose strategically chose the location of the war for, to his favor to work for his favor sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his army he chose this why because it's all almost all surrounded by uhud from this area so nobody can attack them from here so the Muslims camp, the Muslims camp was here. They are protected from this side by the mountain of Uhud. Their back is to Medina. Medina is this way. So the enemy, the camp was there, was where Just this green stuff, yeah. where the, the palm trees are there. Muslims are here, protected from the right side by Uhud, from their back by its Medina, and from their left side with this mountain. They are just left with this mountain in here. The Prophet ﷺ put 50 archers in there to protect them if anybody from the mushrikun because they will be meeting in there they will be fighting here if somebody comes and tries to attack from behind sayyidna uh, abdullah ibn jubair he appointed him as the leader along with the 49 sahaba total is 50 good archers to protect the back of the muslim army the battle began the prophet is here and the muslims the mushrikun and uh, on this side, and then Muslims totally won. They won. They got them all. And they started collecting the booties of war. They collecting the shares, and it was almost over. It was over. Then the 50 archers with Abdullah ibn Jubair on this side, they thought it's over. But Rasulullah told them, if you see us winning or losing, no matter what, regardless, you stay there. If you see us even losing, don't come and help us. Stay where, they, where you are. So they thought it's, it's done. Forty of them decided, they said, let's go down. Abdullah ibn Jubayr told them, I'm not going to leave my place. Stay here. I'm your leader. The Prophet ﷺ told us this. Only ten people, him and nine other people, they remained and they were there. Every time before, before when they were the fifty were there, Khalid ibn al-Walid, not Muslim at this time, tried, he knew that this is the weak point of Muslims. The army is here facing the other army. He thought to come back and attack from behind. He tried more than once, but every time they come this way, then the archers would shoot at them. And then the horses would go back. One time, two times. He was failing all the time. Until the 40 of the archers came down and he saw them and he thought this is the, the time to come. Khalid ibn Walid got the group of uh, uh, people with him and he came from behind this mountain and he climbed the mountain and he managed to finish the 10 people, they were outnumbered and he came, he attacked Muslims from the top of this mountain who were collecting the booties, they, they attacked them and this is where 70 Sahaba got martyred even the Prophet ﷺ got badly wounded in his face and he lost one of his teeth and he was badly injured also وسلم, some of them ran towards the mountain some of them it was a rumor that the Rasulullah was killed and a group of Muslims even went back to Medina Uthman ibn Affan was with them they thought it's over it was chaos after they won and everything they got attacks from all around and they were losing at the end then Rasulullah managed to get them back and he said I'm the prophet right here and he, man, you can imagine, when he is attacked by the enemies, he is, you know, standing up, courageous like this, he could be killed. He managed to get the group together and get the few Muslims who were left together, and they even chased the, the, uh, the non-Muslims who 
you know, they won, looks like they won, but they finished the battle and they left this way. So we learn from this Ghazwa, from this battle, that Rasulullah when we obey him, will be successful. When we disobey him, we lose. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is the message he sent to Muslim. If you disobey him, you would lose. All of that happened in here, in this area. So there's no, there's no special thing. Some people take some pebbles from here or something. There's nothing special about this mountain other than remembering these stories and learning the lessons and saying salam to the shuhada and remembering and getting these lessons, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair. Let's make our way back, inshallah.